possibly looking to gank up this Invoker. Invoker level 10 will be getting flame guarded into oblivion. Yes, Searing Change does connect. Remnant coming in, and that is one dead Invoker. October is also coming in. Jay taking quite a lot of damage and will fall. Buyback from the Invoker. Invoker looking to get an RP. No, R no RP coming out from the Magnus does decide to cancel it. Skewer not doing a whole lot. Now RP comes out on to the Lycan. Meatball comes in whiffs, and that will be a kill onto the Magnus. And uh, no, it will not be a kill onto the Magnus. October will fall in between these towers, and we will be seeing a Sun Strike, and it'll connect. Invoker picking up on that kill onto the silencer. Now they will be pushing down this middle lane. Magnus now has a has a blink dagger, which is very good to get 16 minutes in. This will let him make a lot of plays that will probably shape the way the game goes. RP onto the invoker. Invoker going to be taking quite a lot of damage in. And Invoker will fall to Jay. Jay picking up that kill. And here we have the Castaway going to be taking, going to be running down Moru. And we have a beautiful call coming out from Chimichanga. Chimichanga just spinning the win in 6-6. Not doing a whole lot. Then a power is cleaving through nobody at this point. October going to be falling to 6-6. Chimichanga just going to be spinning to winning. And he will dunk one. No, he will not actually. Castaway getting that kill. Now a triple kill for the Castaway. And they will claim AT2 safely. And meanwhile, we have 6-6 six, six, taking quite a lot of damage from this Axe. Axe can definitely want to be a dunk in this one. And no, Castaway will claim it. That's an ultra kill for him. Unbelievable play. And that will boost him ever closer to that BKB. <laughs> Looks like the Radiant does not want to let them get out of here for free, so there's going to be a shockwave coming in. Chimichanga jumping in with the with the call. Three-man RP coming back. The Empower will cleave through one, and they will skewer them back. Volker will die. Axe will fall. Everyone will die on the die. That is such a good fight for the Radiant. That will swing them back into the... No, it won't. Into the meatball! And we do have Yizhu going to be running on to the Razor. Razor getting solar crested up by Ninja Peter. Hook coming out on to the Earthshaker. Earthshaker will survive. Yizhu losing most of his creeps to that D. Luzi Fry Tinker. Roshan even coming out to play. Not doing a whole lot. And Boat does connect on to Sad Boys. But, uh, Huskar is going to be jumping in. We do have a laser coming in. That'll be a double kill for Top Immortal Player. Top Immortal Player will drop, but X44 is going to be sending in rockets and more into the Oracle. But no, D. Luzi 5 going to be taking a whole bunch of damage from Pudge. Pudge going to be looking to run him down. Pudge will get the run down, but Pudge will definitely burst under all of this damage. That is a 4 for 2 exchange, and they do have a T2 looking to fall. <laughs> We will be having a hook onto the Luzi Fi. Mystic Flare coming through, bursting the Pudge, but not quite torn into boat. And we will be having the False Promise onto him. Ooh, and here comes Huskar. Huskar going to be coming in. Echo Slam onto three. Ninja Peter going to be taking so much damage. Razor does just drop. The Luzi Fi also in the back lines, dodging out Child of God. Child of God does have a fissure up right about now. Slams it into. Tinker, Tinker will drop from that. Child of God going to be sending out a... Oh, man. Child of God is playing godlike with that Echo Slam. Absolutely destroying Radiant. None of them die on Dire. Pudge does pay with his life. But that is an absolute worthwhile trade considering that they took four of the Radiant. <laughs> But now they're looking to re-engage, possibly looking to... And here we have the light break coming in from the Haskar. Haskar is just going to be beaten into this Razor. Razor is sapping all of his damage, but Razor is also getting beaten into by the Lycan. Lycan going to be running back up here, going to look to get Delusify, Delusify. Oh my goodness, bursting into this Haskar. Haskar does still have his Aegis of the Immortal, and we do have Delusify going to be getting out of here. Yules onto top Immortal player. We do have Mystic Flare coming through onto the... Onto the Earthshaker. Earthshaker will be under a whole bunch of sentries and is possibly looking to die here. Uh, X into Torrent and he will fall. 
There we do have a Delutify going to be coming right back in. And we do have X44 going to be getting hit by Yi Zhu. Yi Zhu going to be popping not only his BKB, but also possibly the cheese double kill out for Yi Zhu. And we do have Ninja Peter rotating over. He is, uh, he is under a Sentry Ward, so he could possibly be dying here. Sentry Wards are everywhere here. And we do have... Oh my goodness, this Clinks is taking so much damage, but we do have the Hash Carrier going to be rotating in Delutify. Also, face to face with two cores. And Yizhu going to be popping the cheese in order to survive that engagement. Delutify going to be getting jumped on by the Hash Carrier and will fall. Oh my goodness, that was a very long engagement. Absolutely insane. Okay, that is four down for the Radiant. Let's see that. I want to see that gold swing. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> yeah, you can just see it. That 5k radiant lead just coming right back down as the dire is claiming that team fight. As Ninja Peter will just be able to make it out. Out? I mean, out. Al in this middle lane nearly done his tracks, is about 200 away. Possibly looking to get a hook onto Miggles Miggles. Zeus is also in the area. We'll get that onto Little Me. Little Me gonna be taking a lot of damage. Hook does connect onto Miggles. Miggles gonna be under tower, taking tower shots constantly. We'll get the kill onto the Pudge. Miggles actually dropping very low. We'll use his stick to survive, and we will be having Greed is good. Gonna be killing off this Storm Spirit in the middle lane. Oh wow, that was a messy engagement coming out from the Radiant. Little Me in the middle lane just gonna be. Farming up towards his power treads that will definitely give him a little bit of a power spike Down but we do a Vizri gonna be getting gone on by LL and Palangi. Yeah, there we have it They will claim that kill pink skies is hasted up. So Mendo Kusai actually rotating over onto Palangi. Beautiful chronosphere comes out Pudge actually kills himself and Here we have the storm spirit gonna be ball lightning in actually has no more mana gonna definitely be getting caught up by Miggles Miggles gonna be picking up Palangi. Yes, he will no time to no runaway for you. Max March actually gonna also be getting caught up by this. We do have a dagger connecting onto Little Me by Mendo Kusai. Mendo Kusai gonna definitely be diving this bad boy under the tower. And there we have it. Now two urn charges up on the Spectre. And Max March actually does make it away as no one was able to chase him down. And Miggles had not enough damage to kill him. <laughs> Oh, they look to do Roshan, Mendo Kusai, and Visery. Definitely going to be giving this over to Mendo Kusai. As nobody else on the team really needs it. Looks as if L is aware of the fact going to be hooking a boar. That was just about to time out. Not the best thing to hook, but that should... Oh my god, Mode actually going to be coming in. Cogs out Mendo Kusai, and now he's trapped his team. And Visery will fall to... The Clockwork hook coming out from Pink Sky is going to be claiming that one onto the Clockwork. Palangi going to be rotating over. Gets the Chrono Sphere onto two and will claim the Ember Spirit down for 70. And Mendo Kusai coming back! Oh my god! Is he going to look to die? Yes, he will! He will fall to Max March. Oh my goodness. Now they look to push him to the T1. That is a minute without... Oh my god! That is a minute without your Storm or your Spectre. Wait, was that a Spectre buyback? Why does it say Spectre buyback is on cooldown? Spectre bought- That's a dieback! Oh no! So Spectre doesn't even have a chance to come back into the fight if they do make it to Rax. I don't think they will as they only do have 30 seconds remaining. Just gonna look to claim a T2 and then retreat. Gonna be nearly done his Yaka now. Kaya! Why did I say Yaka? <laughs> And working his way towards a yaka, yak, yak, yeah, yeah, Kaya, not a yaka, a Kaya. And little me now with his Kaya, not yaka. Does have wards. Shinigami gonna be coming in with that drums of endurance. Already using one charge, but he is fine with fuck. TP incoming from the morphling. Morphing into Aji more in order to get that sweet sweet damage onto Dreamer. Dreamer getting fiends gripped up, but no. Ike is actually gonna be the one who's getting played by Dreamer. Dreamer is looking to TP out. Actually, no, he doesn't even have a TP on him. Dreamer is gonna be taking so much damage. That hook could save him. We have a beautiful dismember coming in. And Freedom gonna be 
getting that Skyrath Mage Doom onto Shinigami. Shinigami gonna fall to that. Doom rotating back over onto the Morphling. Morphling morphing into Doom. Doom v Doom. Here we have it. Hook coming out onto the Morphling. Morphling gonna be tanking that Witch Doctor ulti. And he has a Maledict on, so it's gonna tick for a million. And we do have Silent Killer gonna be getting caught out by the Kunkka. Kunkka looking to definitely drop this torrent on him. Gonna be uh, forcing him back. No, the torrent actually does miss. Silent Killer gonna be making it away with that a paralyzing cast. Dreamer going to be running in onto Ike. Ike taking quite a lot of damage. He does have Fiend's Grip, but he definitely doesn't want to use it and then just die. Ike will fall in the back lines. Freedom I will have his dismember up in a couple of seconds. Lincoln Sphere is popped on this Mortfling hook coming out. And here we have the dismember, and Mortfling will just be beaten to a pulp. Shinigami now coming on that form and will die. Dreamer with an ultra kill. Looking to be picking up his Necro 3. Dreamer just gonna be beaten into this T2 tower. It stands no chance whatsoever. Oh my god, it got bursted. And we do have Shimmy now with a Shadow Blade and working very close to his Hawk on the Spider-Man into a dismember does get stunned up. And now we do have the Witch Doctor Ultimate coming in and that will claim Spider-Man, but the boat does connect onto Pudge. Uh, Shimmy gonna be throwing in, in the back lines. We do have Dreamer picking up everyone under the sun. Gonna be just running at them. That shapeshift will be running in. Uh, will be running out very soon. Shinigami does not have primal split and will get helped once again by Freedom. Freedom, you are absolutely on fire. We do have Doom running in, but no, Shinigami will be able to make it back to the fountain and he will survive. Freedom definitely looking to get yet another hook onto someone. He will be wearing the words that you will suffer in order to confirm him all the hooks he wants. And it looks like they will be rotating over to the middle lane to claim their second lane of barracks. It's gonna tick for a million!